based off of my previous answer no i don't feel that it would be the best one and just going on something that i was going to continue saying last time is that not only are we giving not only are few people in actual power to make decisions for most of the population but also there's just even if you look at it from the very theoretical economic perspective like there's a lot of risk involved in that happening the one person one investor who has so many stakes in so many different things which is actually like turning the world if something were to happen if they were to turn out to be the evil guy like we're putting a lot of trust into one individual here and so that thought just honest like changes the way that we should look at um redistribution of income um and wealth inequalities and yes i do feel that there are a lot of different ways obviously i'm not going to be able to define it because especially in today's world i wouldn't know what those structures would look like but i'm sure there are better ways to organize society than just having a few people calling the shots and not being able to make a lot of like change on a more equitable scale um to tack on to what shana was saying yeah no it is not the best system i'd say i think we are due for change in the way we structure our economic system um and i think i'm not sure exactly how it would manifest but i think um we could build economic systems where people are more personally implicated in um in the production of whatever it is that they're like using or consuming or um involved with like i think people are uh with um most of our goods i don't know if, yeah i'd say most of our our goods or our physical objects are produced or controlled by corporations and um that has created a lot of i guess well a lot of um first of all um wealth inequality and like climate issues but beyond that is create a lot of disenchantment between ourselves and our physical world um and i think if if we had more um if if people had more of a say in what it was that they were eating or where they were living or like the or what they were doing with their time um then and and were thus more like socially implicated or like it was more of a of a collective project rather than like a top down um structure then um that would i think that would meet our needs quite well and also eliminate many of uh, it wouldn't be easy or it wouldn't be i like utopic or anything but it would it would resolve a lot of the or maybe not resolve but it would it would definitely um mitigate a lot of the problems that we're seeing with the current capitalist system do you think that the younger generation um want this change yeah that they are feeling uh, things are going wrong and we want to make something against it or whatever or it it is uh, like uh, we older guys let's see yeah i think young people definitely want things to want things to be different and want change every i it also could be that most of the young people i know are in like a university setting and i don't know if that influences that um take but most no no i'd say that's not that's not where that's not the main thing i think most young people um want some want the world to be different um and i also think because um we've been talking a lot about um i guess climate change being a central issue economic issue over time i think young people also feel the most implicated in climate change since 
a lot of older people think, okay, by the time there's any real like existential threats to the human race, I'll be dead anyway. But like for young people, we are going to kind of be navigating that for the rest of our lifetime. Um, and I, 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 I guess disagree a little bit with the notion that no change is happening. Like it does feel very slow compared to the rate at which um, we are seeing uh, the, the at, at which the problems are, like it feels like the, everything is snowballing and, it's, and is out of control and very intense and we're not responding quick enough. But I do think that um, there is there has been response and um, people are creating movements and um, have a lot of people have a lot of really good ideas, but it is, they do get lost in, I guess, the scale of the issues at hand. And it feels like any sort of response that we have is not really comparable to the, to the scale of the problems, or it feels like almost insurmountable. Um, so it's, it's easy to think that, or to believe that like not enough is happening, but I'd say, yeah, I'd say um, change is happening and um, you know, it's always, it's always the case that it happens on the margins of society and then it takes over. And even though it feels like um, the inertia of capitalist systems are, is powerful or like overly powerful and that we don't really have control over that. Um, I think we need to zoom out and remember that um, life it looks very different now than it looked even 20 years ago, 10 years ago. And um, it is happening on like on a larger time scale. Yeah, change is happening quite fast. Um, and for that reason we do, yeah, it is within our power to make it happen. And I was gonna say, it's hard to imagine because we haven't known it in our own lifetime, but it is historically like relatively recent and it has changed. Our, our, our social structures change all the time. You said empires rise and fall on a, like on cycles of several thousand years or hundred years. And these, these dynamics are very much at play. It's just hard to see it ourselves in our own world because it's easy to reflect retroactively, but the same cycles are, are happening right now. Yeah. yeah. There's, um, sorry, go ahead. Sorry. Just to add on to that, um, I guess the reason why it's also like invisible -ish change is because of the fact that we also need to do our own unlearning of the system that we've been born and brought up in, which is the whole thing to take on before trying to make impactful change in the society that we're in. Because what's basically being asked of us is to unlearn the society we were brought up in, and as well as try and imagine and figure a way to create solutions that the society has caused problems for when we've never envisioned something like this. Like the only way that we see other societies organized is like in books and movies and in theories that we study in class and not outside of that, which is what makes it a slow change in my opinion, but definitely like even then it's pretty visible with the way that things are moving so quickly, especially over the past three, four years, I feel. And so, yes, I just wanted to add onto that. 